The history of rocketry and space pioneers spans more than 800 years, but most of it has occurred in the past 60. Rocketry as we know it today is based on the chemical rockets invented by the Chinese in the 13th century. Those early rockets used gunpowder, and the same principles used then pretty much define how we make and use rockets today. From that beginning, rocketry has been an international business, and the pioneers came from many different countries. For example, a major improvement was made in the early 1800s when Colonel William Congreve, a Britisher, used long sticks attached to his rockets to provide crude guidance during flight, like a tail on a kite, resulting in much improved accuracy. Many variations followed, with most directed at making rockets into weapons. But one beneficial use uh, was as a method to carry a lifeline from one ship to another to effect rescues at sea. Another use, rockets to carry men into space, was found only in fiction for more than 50 years following Jules Verne's famous book, From the Earth to the Moon, written in 1865. The 20th century revolution in rocketry began with work by Konstantin Tsiolkovsky, a Russian who in 1903 was the first to suggest practical modes of using rockets for space exploration. At about this same time, a German named Hermann Oberth was working in Romania, devising the first multi-stage rockets that revolutionized the business. In the 1920s, an American named Robert Goddard advanced the science of rocket propulsion by inventing the liquid-propelled rocket. Today, Goddard's apparatus is on display in the Smithsonian Air and Space Museum in Washington, D.C. These three pioneers, Tsiolkovsky, Oberth, and Goddard, are considered the fathers of modern rocketry. But aerospace as we know it today came about during World War II when the Germans developed the Re-2 rocket as a weapon system. After the war, the Russians and Americans each captured hardware and scientists who developed the systems that eventually took men to the moon. Among the leaders are two of note. Sergei Kirilov is the Russian credited with leading the Soviet program of manned spaceflight. At the same time, Werner von Braun from the German rocket team led the U.S. team to the successful Apollo 11 lunar landing in 1969. Among the many firsts that took place between 1946 and 1991 when the Cold War ended with the collapse of the Soviet Union, the most important are listed on this chart. A Russian named Yuri Gagarin became the first human to orbit the Earth, a Russian, not an American, in April of 1961. The first American in space was Alan Shepard, but he didn't orbit the Earth. The Redstone rocket that carried him into space in May of 1961, one month after Gagarin, was a converted Army ballistic missile weapon system without sufficient power to take him into orbit. He returned to the Earth without making even one complete orbit. The first American to orbit the Earth was John Glenn in February of 1962 on an Atlas rocket launched from Complex 14 at the Cape nine months after Gagarin's flight. The Cold War was in full swing. You might not know the name Tereshkova, another Russian, but she was the first woman to orbit the Earth, and she did it in June of 1963. Sally Ride would be the first American woman in space, but she didn't fly until 1983, 20 years after her Russian counterpart. There are two other key events you should know about. Neil Armstrong became the first human to set foot on the moon on July 20, 1969, winning the space race for America with the first of six successful trips to the surface of the moon for 12 Apollo astronauts. In April of 1981, Bob Crippen and John Young flew the first space shuttle and laid claim to the only reusable spacecraft to reach orbit and return to Earth safely on its own, not once, but many times. It's an amazing accomplishment and brings us to the current status of aerospace in today's world. The space vehicles listed on the bottom of this chart are a few of the important firsts that an aerospace technician should know about. Sputnik was the first man-made satellite to orbit the Earth, Russian. Explorer was the first American satellite. Vostok is the Russian launch vehicle used by Gagarin and many others to power Russia into the history books during those early years of space exploration. Mercury, Gemini, and Apollo are the American manned spacecraft leading up to and including the lunar landing program. They carried one, two, and three men, respectively. 
Soyuz is the name of the series of Russian rockets and spacecraft that were used to put men into space in the race to the moon. They are still in use providing crews to our International Space Station and the Russians have never given up their ambitions for space. Although America developed and flew the first true space station called Skylab, the Russians still hold the record for long-duration space flight in their space station Mir, and they continue to be a vital part of our joint program for the International Space Station, the ISS. There's a great deal more to know about past and current space activities, but we're out of time. I recommend you review your own areas of special interest using the Internet and sources uh, on the Internet. Simply type in a subject and enjoy what you find.